Hey there and welcome to the WP Club YouTube channel. In today's video, we will explore the powerful features the Augmented Reality plugin offers us. So, let's get started. So, this is the official website of the Augmented Reality plugins. Uh, with the help of the Augmented Reality plugins, you can upload uh, both your uh, own 3D model files uh, and upload images to uh, turn them into the framed artworks. Moreover, the uh, company also offers uh, the uh, Augmented Reality for WooCommerce plugin. This plugin offers WooCommerce store owners to add unlimited 3D models uh, to their products, uh, enabling uh, customers visualize uh, the products uh, before making a decision to uh, purchase uh, the product. So let's learn how to uh, use the Augmented Reality plugin. Here we are on our dashboard and uh, we have already installed and activated the AR uh, plugin, the Augmented Reality plugin. And uh, first of all, we can start from the AR model shop. Uh, let's open the page uh, like this. Here you can see uh, all the content, all the uh, 3D models, the 3D uh, AR models displayed on one page. And here uh, the uh, customers, the website visitors can access all the 3D models and decide what they want to purchase. Uh, they will um, see the uh, AR models uh, in 3D model on their, uh, for example, living room and decide uh, whether they want to purchase or not. Here you can also see some filtering, uh, for example, you can filter electronics and see only the electronical uh, AR models uh, like this. Or you can uh, choose, uh, for example, furniture and see, um, for example, chairs and see what they will look like on uh, the uh, room. Then you can decide whether you want to purchase them or not. As we are done with the AR model shop, we can go back to our dashboard and learn how to create our own AR models. Here we are on the AR models page uh, and as you can see, I have already created some uh, AR models. Uh, but we, for now, we'll go to the uh, add new models page and here we can add our uh, AR model to see how uh, the uh, model will look like on a front end. Here we can uh, provide a title uh, for our uh, model. For example, let it be a wooden chair, like this. And here we will add a new uh, GLB3D model file. Then we will check how the uh, model looks like here in a live version. So let's upload our file. Uh, we click here and then go to the downloads and uh, choose the chair. Then click on the choose your AR files button and wait a little bit. Here is our chair displayed in a live version. Uh, as we can see, we can rotate it and we can see the changes uh, in a live mode here. Let's check what capabilities the plugin offers uh, to display uh, the 3D model uh, on a front end. Uh, we can click on the display options button here and here we can add a background image, environment image, uh, or we can uh, change the model placement, wall vertical or floor horizontal. Uh, we will display the image on the floor. Uh, then we can choose the scale. We can uh, make it, uh, for example, like this. Uh, we can change it like this. Uh, and we can uh, change like this. Also, we can uh, change the field of view. Uh, we can choose the degrees here. We will choose the default one. Uh, then we can also change the exposure, uh, show shadow intensity, a shadow softness. Uh, we can choose the zoom uh, restraints, uh, for example, 100% or uh, we will choose the default one. Uh, we can choose the light color here. Um, we can choose the animation, uh, play, pause button, um, etc. 
then we can uh, choose the rotation limits for example we can rotate uh, like this and you can just um, flip uh, the 3d model like this and if we do for example uh, like this then you can only uh, rotate like this and um, these sides will not work for you we will choose this one Then comes the hide uh, disable elements, uh, AR view button. Uh, here we can enable the dimensions so that the dimensions will be displayed uh, on the front end uh, for our um, 3D model. Um, then we can see the QR code options, additional interactions, uh, call to action button, uh, alternative model for mobile, uh, element positions and CSS styles. You can add your own CSS styling to 3D model uh, the way you prefer. So you can see all the changes uh, in a live mode here uh, and uh, you will have a clear understanding what you will have on the front end when you publish the post. And um, actually, it's time to publish the post and see what it looks like on the front end. Uh, so uh, we can uh, copy the short code like this and paste it into the post. Uh, this is all we need to do to publish the post and it's quite easy. Uh, it's quite simple to do uh, and we just need to click on a publish button here. Then view models. So here is our uh, wooden chair displayed on a front end. And here you can see that we can uh, rotate it uh, and uh, we can enable to see the dimensions here. Like this. It is quite helpful. And we can just untick the dimensions. Also here we can uh, click and make the QR code bigger like this so that uh, your website visitors can uh, scan the QR code and see um, what the um, chair will look like in their desired room. We will do this now. So let's scan the QR code with our mobile phone and uh, see the image in uh, the environment in our room. So that you can understand how actually the plugin works. So as we are done with the um, uh, 3D model, we can go ahead and check uh, how the 3D gallery uh, builder looks like and what you can do there as well. So now let's create another uh, model on the 3D gallery builder uh, tab so that we can understand how it actually looks like. So we go to the add new models page and here uh, again we need to um, add a title to our post. For example, we can name our post as a wall design like this then we will scroll down and head to the 3d gallery builder page and here we need to upload our image uh, by clicking here then choose your air files button and here our image appears in a live uh, mode again uh, as the uh, 3d model we have uh, inserted before so we can uh, see the changes in a live uh, mode here we can change the image ratio for example like this we will stick on this one uh, then we can um, make it a uh, framed uh, or not for example like this uh, we will uh, not choose uh, the uh, frame uh, we can change the color if you if we want. Uh, we can uh, change the opacity here uh, with the display options again, uh, as we have already customized. We can 
uh, customize the options the way we prefer uh, also we can add a rotation limits uh, for example uh, we will choose uh, like this and we can um, rotate the uh, model like this also here again, you can see the disable hide elements, QR code options, additional interactions, alternative model for mobile, and element positions and CSS styles. Also here we can customize the scale, for example, like this. And we can uh, publish our post to see how it looks like on a front end. Uh, for that, we just need to copy the short code and paste it into the post. Then click on the publish button. Then surely click on the save button to save the applied changes. Here is our model displayed on the front end. Also, we can click and see the dimensions like this. And of course, we can make the QR code bigger so that your website visitors can uh, open uh, the uh, QR code and see how the uh, wall design will look like on a wall, uh, actually. So let's scan the QR code with our mobile phone and see how this design will look like on a wall. As we are done with the uh, 3D gallery builder part as well, we can go back to the dashboard and see what other pages the plugin offers. Here you can see the AR categories page where you can add um, your desired categories and so that the content, the AR models will be displayed in a categorized view on the front end. Uh, as you, as you, you can see, we have already added one uh, category, which is named AR model. You can uh, do yourself, add a name and um, add, click on the add new models category button. Uh, then we can go to the settings page. Here on the settings page, you can see the license key. Uh, we have inserted it and we have the premium version installed. Uh, you can see the renewal date, model count. Uh, here you can see some options related to the um, AR buttons, um, full screen button, play button. Uh, you can disable and hide elements, uh, security and performance, QR code user uploads and element positions and CSS styles to add your desired CSS styling. Um, also, if you like the plugin and are satisfied with the functionalities, you can rate uh, the plugin by clicking here. You can also see what's new in the new version and see some short codes here. And the last step is what's new. And here you can see uh, what changes have been made uh, in each version of the plugin. That's all. We have discussed all the features and functionalities the Augmented Reality plugin offers us. That's all. In today's video tutorial, we have discussed the powerful features and functionalities the Augmented Reality plugin offers us. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more informative content. Bye!